So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a trip from Alabama to Texas. This is a continuation of another few videos that I've shot as I filmed a trip from Texas to Alabama to go see my family. On this part of the trip, I'll be stopping for two major amenities, a truck wash in Jackson, Mississippi, and a campground near Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hi, I'm John Rowe. I love traveling, RV camping, and the great outdoors. This channel has outdoor videos, cooking tips, hunting segments, travel reviews, and everything in between. So if you're into any of those things, please like and subscribe as I'll be sharing content in the hopes that you can get something useful out of this as well. Some of the joys of traveling are being able to see interesting things and make stops along the way. Most trips start with a predetermined destination in mind, but scheduled stops along the way for amenities are necessary. In this segment, we'll be talking about two needs for amenities, an RV wash and a campground. We've all had the joys of trying to wash bugs, mildew, crud, and months or years of caked on goop off of our RVs. You can do this in your driveway, or you can search out one of the old style car washes with a tall bay in the hopes that you can find something big enough to pull your rig into. Both of these are going to have you wasting about half a day or a full day and it's very painstaking, it takes a lot of elbow grease, and it's just a lot of back breaking work. One of the things that people don't really think about is a truck wash uh, when it pertains to RVs. These truck washers are normally located in larger metropolitan areas and are almost always on the side of a very large truck stop. So if you plan your, your trip accordingly, you can stop for fuel, uh, get any type of supplies you need, and get your RV washed at the same time. In my case, I stopped just, just in Jackson, Mississippi at the Blue Beacon Truck Wash. Make a pit stop at the Blue Beacon Truck Wash here in Jackson, Mississippi. Kind of in the a little bit of a sketchy part of town, but a good place to stop off the interstate just for a quick truck wash. Anyway, I'm gonna stay in here so it won't be too much of a hassle. Got a couple of trucks kind of in the way, but pretty dirty. She's pretty grimy. Need to get her washed off. Let's see if we can do that. So, the way this works is you pull in and you get in line, there's usually a couple of trucks in front of you, and then an attendant comes out, explains the services to you, and you pick out all the things that you need. In my case, I got my RV and my truck washed, both for 45 bucks. Uh, from start to finish, I think I was here less than 30 minutes, and these guys really did a great job. So once I pulled into the building, I got out of my vehicle and went inside to the office and did the paperwork and paid for the service. While I was inside taking care of that, these guys, probably four or six of them with these high powered wands, just went to work uh, with high pressure hoses and soap and, and all these different things. And they, they really got a lot of stuff off. Uh, full transparency. I would urge you to do your due diligence and make sure that your RV or your vehicle can withstand a high pressure hose like this because you know these things have a lot of uh, a lot of pressure coming through them so if you have an older RV that has maybe some some delicate parts to it I wouldn't recommend doing this in my case my RV is only a couple years old and I was pretty comfortable with uh, going in here and having these guys do that if you have you know decals or or, or stuff like that that you're you're not 100% sure about, then I would urge you to probably probably not go this route. Once these guys finished, I pulled out of the building, looped right around the parking lot into the gas pumps, filled up my truck, and then I was on the road. From start to finish, the whole stop, including gas, was probably 45 minutes. And it was a, it was a great thing. I highly recommend it. Again, that's the Blue Beacon Truck Wash in Jackson, Mississippi. 
All in all, not bad. 40 bucks. The truck and the camper washed off. Still some residue on there, but it's a lot better than what I could do. You might be in a sketchy area of wind. There's a spent bully casing on the ground near the gas pump. get out of here so the next amenity that we'll talk about is a KOA campground in Baton Rouge Louisiana it's actually located in Denham Springs which is just to the east of Baton Rouge but it's located in an area that is has a ton of amenities it's right off the of interstate 10 it's easy to get from the interstate to the park uh, pretty straightforward I think you make you get off the exit you make a left turn you go up you make another right turn if you're going west so if you're going east you just get off make a right then another right then you're almost there probably less than a mile from the interstate um, restaurants all around and one of the coolest bass pro shops in the country is located probably less less than a mile from the park as a fairly new visitor to koa campgrounds i was pretty skeptical about about what i would receive I didn't do very much research at all prior to my stay here and I actually booked my stay that morning using the app. Being that I did this the morning of with the app, it was total trial and error on how I, how I would experience my stay here. Let me say I was pleasantly surprised by the amount of amenities and the type of accommodations that this RV park had to offer. So the way this works is when you pull in to the park, you stop at the office, you get out, you go in, you check in, you do any type of paperwork or actually run your card for the stay. Once that's finished, a park attendant will come out and escort you to the spot that you're, you're assigned. Once you get there and you pull in, the, the attendant will show you the types of connections and all the things that, that you have and make sure that you have everything you need to get set up. I didn't need any help setting my RV up, but I imagine if you needed something, a park attendant would be more than happy to help you. The sites are paved and very conveniently located uh, with plenty of space to, to maneuver RVs around and even some really big, big rig RVs were at this place. Totally easy to get in and out of, even for, you know, maybe a less experienced RV owner or new RV owner. All right. Got the camper set up. Spot here, number 28. Pretty nice RV park. I'm not big on KOAs. I usually don't stay, stay in places like this. It's usually a state park or somewhere, but it's not a bad spot. A little bit of a shade tree. Amenities at this park include full power with 150, 30, and 20 amps, cable television with a pile of channels, Wi-Fi, pads with picnic tables. Some of the sites, or premium sites, have what they call patio areas that have actual patio furniture and a fire pit and like an outdoor swing. One of the sites next to me was this, but I didn't utilize this, I just got a, a, a standard site, which was completely, completely great. Other amenities include a covered pavilion, a playground, a game room. Laundry and shower facilities. Mini golf. and a pool with a really cool water feature. <laughs> this park was very quiet, very clean, and you can tell it was geared towards families and people that are, that are living in an RV lifestyle. This was one of the nicest RV parks I've ever stayed in, and I have no problem recommending this park to anybody. If you're traveling through here, or have to stay anywhere remotely close to Baton Rouge, I strongly suggest you give this park a try. Another great amenity 
fairly close by that I'd like to recommend also is a restaurant called Peebo's. Peebo's is located between the park and the interstate just off of the little state highway there and is a bar and grill type restaurant. Not so much bar that it's overbearing, but not so much grill that you can enjoy, you know, a little bit of a different atmosphere also. This restaurant looked to be less than two years old, very contemporary theme, and the food was spectacular. I stayed in the RV park at the KOA for three nights, and I ate at this restaurant all three nights. The first night I had a steak salad, which was very good. The remaining two nights I had the Redfish Lebeau. If you're in the area and you're going to stay here and you're going to eat somewhere, go to Peebo's, have the Redfish Lebeau. It'll change your life. That does it for today's segment. I hope this information helps you and I hope you can visit some of these great businesses and amenities that I've been able to mention. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, please leave them below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks and have a great day.